In today's world, it is important to be able to communicate quickly and cost-effectively. As a teacher, you need to communicate with your principal, fellow teachers, your learners, as well as their parents. With many technology tools at our fingertips, such as smartphones and laptops, communicating via SMS, WhatsApp, and sending electronic mail, as an educator, you can get the message out there quickly and easily. So what does a good email look like? It is concise. It is intention-focused. It has a summarizing tone. It is well-organized and visually scannable. It is polite and tone-appropriate and clear on action. For more guidance, seek the website, which you will find under the Resources tab. One's personal name or the name of the institution or business normally appears at the beginning. This is followed by the at symbol. The at symbol is followed by the domain name. Have a look at your email issued by our university. Our domain name is ufs.ac.za. When sending information, you must complete these areas, to, subject, and cc. The to area is who you are sending the email to. There you will type the email address. Always have a subject title. Be as specific as you can, as this will simplify searching. If you use the CC tab to add another receiver of this email, it is the same as saying that this email is just to notify you and that it is not necessary for you to reply to this email. The body of this email contains your message and is normally to the point. If someone has sent you an email and you would like to reply, just click on the reply button. To forward a message to someone, you click on the forward button. To attach a document, or as we know it, a file, click on the attach icon and select the file you want to attach. An email is an excellent tool for the workplace. It keeps a record of what was said as well as the date and time. It gives you the freedom to send attached documents and instructions simultaneously. Now go ahead and send your first email to your colleagues or perhaps your learner's parents.